Good luck. Now, with autumn in full swing, what better way uh, to have a nice time than to take a trip <laughs> to this morning forest? Oof. Have you ever been to the forest? No! It's absolutely it's like amazing. The whole forest is gaslighting oh. me. I've never been there. <laughs> you will love I it. it really, I can't wait. You will love it. Amongst the trees and wildlife in the woodland, oh. there is plenty of delicious mushrooms. I, I don't know if you know this. Uh, this time of year, they're there. Well, James Martin, he's gone down there on a foraging expedition. Let's it. take a look. This morning pine forest may not feel like a natural food larder, but you'll be amazed at what can be found. So let's go exploring. I'm looking forward to this. Alicia Vasey has been a professional forager for 10 years, and with her help and three acres of pine trees and patches of lush greenery, bracken, chestnuts and brambles, becomes a treasure trove of edible treats. And our first find is already getting my taste buds going. This is Heather, right? Yep, yep, yep. I've got lots of this where I grew up. Same here. Any, any Heather? Yeah, do you know what? You can use any Heather, right? So what are you are looking at, I thought? This is just coming to end at season. You've got still a few little purple flowers on there. So you get Ling and Bell Heather. So this one's quite dried out because it ends at season, but it's got a really nice floral taste to it when you do infusions. The only thing you've got to watch out for is when you're looking at the stalks, they've got quite a lot of cyanide in this time of year. <laughs> All jokes aside, don't go picking anything on your own. Always go with an expert. So you're only just trimming off the top Yeah, bit. just the top bits, right? As little as possible as the sticks. Right, OK. okay. Just, a, just like, like fresh perfect. time. Okay. Yeah, just like the first time, that's perfect. Right. Well, what else are we looking for? Mushrooms. This is not going to feed anybody, just this. No, but it's flavour. Can you use this pine? Oh, there's all sorts you can do with pine, James. If you can get to that bit up there, that's quite tasty. Everything on a pine tree you can eat. So if you ever find yourself crashed on the side of a mountain in an airplane, you don't have to eat your passengers sat next to you. You can always go for pine tree. <laughs> all right, well, now I know how versatile pine is, I've got an idea of what I'm going to make, but there's just one ingredient that I need to get my hands on, and that's mushrooms. Right, so when you're doing your mushroom hunting, James, you've got to get your mushroom eye in. So, can you see those tiny little purple mushrooms just over there? Yeah, I can see them, yeah. Are these all with this beech tree that we're under? This yep, line yep. of beech trees? Is right, this... yeah. So, this entire line has actually got these amethyst deceivers over. It's when the leaves drop off the tree, and this is why you get all the mushrooms in autumn, is that it's pushing all the nutrients back down underneath the ground. And then what happens is, is that this is the fruiting spore of a mushroom, because most of it's underground on the mycelium. It's like the underground internet for mushrooms. You are joking. Because they talk to the... each other. Come on. Actually, they're not The underground internet for mushrooms, they talk to each other. They do. Can I pick these? You can indeed. So do you have to cook the, the top separate to the bottoms? No, no. I mean, you just, you just got to do it, you know, you just got to use your timing. But you're a decent enough chef these days, aren't you? She may jest about my cooking, but I reckon I'm doing all right with this foraging lark. How amazing is that? Lunch. And this meal will be one that she won't forget. So the first thing we do is get the duck on. The thing about cooking bar duck on the barbecue, you don't need anything. No salt, no pepper, nothing. Just straight on. With this pine, yeah. I thought what you do is just pop this underneath okay. and sit that on the coals. This will infuse the duck nicely. We've got tap water. <laughs> but this is an amazing way to cook carrots. Add a little sugar and butter, of course. This Vichy style is one of my favourite ways to cook carrots. I thought we'd use the heather and the pine to flavour this. Otherwise, star anise or orange peel works perfectly. We've got these amazing mushrooms. These, yeah. We've got some orange birch bleatus. They're a little bit like seps. Look how firm they are, aren't they beautiful? They're amazing, these, yeah. What is this? So this is reindeer moss. So that's the stuff you get on model railways and put on as bushes. That's where I've seen it. That's My granddad right. used to have a model, model railway. Before I get cooking this reindeer moss, i better check on the duck. <laughs> yep. Uh, OK, so that duck's going to sit away nicely over there. What do you do with this uh, reindeer moss, then? OK, so what you want to do is use your favourite ingredient. Butter, surprise, surprise. Then I'm going to chuck in the moss to get it frying off. It will take on any kind of seasoning. So if you're doing, like, Cajun, if you're doing just black pepper and salt, whatever seasoning you're going to do, it's going to just absolutely fantastic. And it's going to add texture as well. Now add the mushrooms. And we can't forget those little purple ones we picked. I love the colours of these, look at these. They're fantastic, aren't they? Now these mushrooms are looking perfect, so I'm going to pop them to one side and get on with a delicious sauce. I think it's coming together nicely. This sauce, really simple, 
yeah. you get some stock. You can get this stock, uh, stock in the supermarket nowadays. Yeah. It's already sort of pre-done as a little sauce. Now I'm just going to let that simmer for a bit. Key to making this sauce with the dock yeah. is sherry vinegar. I'm going to use a few of these. Slows. Yep. And I picked some brambles on my way here this morning. Okay. These are right good. outside my house. These are great, aren't they? Then I'm going to add a little bit more butter to the yeah, sauce. Of course. So now what I thought I'd do is get some heather honey, just Ooh. sit it over the top of the... Ooh, you Ooh. see? I like honey. Now, if you can't get this honey in supermarkets, you can use regular honey. It'll work just as well. I'm going to leave that to rest. These carrots are unbelievable. All right. These are our lovely mushrooms. Look at this. This duck is beautiful, perfectly cooked. I'm so excited for this. Look at that. Oh, yeah. But then the key to it is what's in this pan, look. Look at the sauce here. Now to spoon over the lovely, rich sauce. <laughs> I'm so excited. Look at that. How good does that look? This might just be one of my favourite dishes I've cooked in a long time. And what makes it so special is that we've found a lot of the flavours. Right, let's see what the boss really thinks. Sometimes you know what you're doing, don't you? To think we did all this in the This Morning Forest, on a bench, on a barbecue, sitting on a tree stump. Amazing. Oh, wow. That looks delicious. Yeah. I want to get involved. But there is a little bit of a warning. It's important to note that you shouldn't be foraging for mushrooms yourselves unless, like James, you're with an expert. What fun zapper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but you've got to, you've got to say it. I know. Uh, phoning is...